guys, Silver Player 22 here, bringing you another Silver Player review. Today, we're going to be looking at Demaria Gray, the hero card that's just come out. That pretty much the whole Leicester team, who wasn't already a team of the season or an inform, has just come out as a hero card, which is absolutely amazing. It's fair enough, though, in a way, because Leicester have really been heroes. They've made history by transforming the way that people are going to look at the Premier League now. It's always been the money wins, whereas Leicester have come in and their team costs practically nothing, and they've gone on. And they, I think they've only been for first or second all season, which is an incredible feat. If you haven't already checked out the story, I know I've got some people who watch my videos from, you know, who are not from England, so definitely go and check it out because it's an amazing sporting feat. Demaria Gray is an exciting young talent for the future, but he's He's had some really good games as well this season. If you haven't already checked out my other team of the season reviews, go and check them out and let's have a look at this guy. 90 pace, 82 dribbling, 70 shooting, 60 passing, 55 physical and 25 defending. 25 defending is pretty poor. 5 foot 10, medium medium work rates, right footed, hasn't got 4 star skill moves which is a little bit disappointing. He cost me 170k but that was pretty much as soon as he came out because I wanted to get this video out nice and early. He's going for about 140 now. Anyway, his mental and physical attributes, he's got really decent acceleration, agility, balance and pretty good sprint speed as well but the rest of his stats are pretty pretty dire really I mean strength is pretty bad aggression interceptions you know defensive stats aren't really too bad because you know I'm not really bothered about him when I'm going to be playing him at left wing or left forward dribbling really good finishing okay um, shot power, pretty decent. Everything else, pretty, pretty bad. This guy can play as a left, ming, left mid or a cam. I chose to play him at a left wing and a left forward, which is obviously a bit different, but he's only 19 years old as well. So, okay, so I've reviewed quite a lot of this sort of style of player over the past few weeks, the sort of silver, dribbling, pacey players, and I would say he is as good as anyone. At, he's as quick as anyone. He's very, very quick, and he's got very, very good dribbling. The no-touch with this guy, you know, no-touch dribbling was really good. He'd just leave the ball at the perfect moment to just get around someone, and it wouldn't really take much from me to get around someone, like, easily. Um, his crossing was pretty solid, but that's sort of where his positives end. His finishing wasn't the best. Like, I was pretty disappointed with his finishing. It, you could put it in the net sometimes, but it wasn't easy and it wasn't consistent. Long shots were pretty, pretty bad. Uh, his strength, oh my word, he's so weak. Like, I just found, I felt like he'd get knocked off the ball so easily. But as far as what you're looking from this guy, you're looking for pace, you're looking for dribbling. And agil his agility and his balance really help him, help make him that sort of player that can get around people nice and easily. Like, I was, he was exciting. Even though I, I wouldn't say he was brilliant, I would say he was an exciting player to use. And maybe that's not enough considering how expensive he is. And he should drop down. I think he'll probably stay at around 80 to 90k. Because he's, he's Leicester and everyone loves Leicester at the moment. But... Yeah, you can see his positives and negatives here. His finessing, finesse shot, his finessing was just okay. It was, it wasn't brilliant. It wasn't horrendous. Crossing was okay. I would say it was a little bit better than his finishing, but still nothing amazing. And you can see his positives there. And I think he stays on his feet quite well. Although if he does get touched, he's going to go down. A little bit like I felt with Farias, uh, his team of the season card. I've said that uh, Gray felt like a 73 to a 76, and I've given him a 7.5 out of 10. Enjoyment-wise, probably a little bit higher. Actual playing-wise, probably a little bit lower. But I feel like 75, 7.5 out, 75 out of 10, 7.5 out of 10 is about where he stands. And I feel like in a few years we might look back on this and think, "Wow, look how far he's come!" Because I really feel like he's got a lot to offer. And this is sort of this card shows glimpse of what he could be in the future. Anyway, guys, yesterday I asked you who has been the best team this season you have used on FIFA 16 so far. And this time, I would like to know who has been the worst team this season you have used on FIFA 16 so far. I'll let you know mine in the comments, as always. Like, comment, subscribe, and definitely stay tuned later today because I'm going to be bringing out a team this season, Eric Dyer review. I know it's long overdue, and I'm going to be talking about my new series, which will be coming out tomorrow, hopefully. Anyway, guys, cheers.